Now, old-fashioned service, that's why we played the old-fashioned love song. How do you create a successful business, especially in a competitive retail environment? Now, our next guest is returning to good old-fashioned service to build a modern business. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Where have you had exceptional service? I get it each day. I either pop into the Cryo Bay Roadhouse or the Highway Lounge at uh, Werribee at the Interchange, and the service is fantastic, and it's the same every day. Mark Cavell is part owner of Stan Cash, and he has a plan to return the electrical goods business to glory days in what is, and we all understand, a very competitive environment. Mark, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? How are you going to do this? Well, I think it's uh, exactly like you said. You know, we are we're going back to the to old fashioned customer service. We often hear, you know, some people said that they're going to retail stores these days and just don't get service. And we're just going back to the to, to old fashioned service where we're going, we're we're greeting all the customers, uh, taking the time to talk to them, not just about uh, you know, don't, not just talking to them about. Um, about what they want to buy, but also you know making sure they're getting exactly what they want and enjoying their company, and um, so that they definitely want to come back. That'll be a different experience. Well, that's what we think so because often you know people just want to get you know the customers in and out, and we actually want them to to talk about how good their service was. That they actually go away and talk about how good it was. Um, often they'll talk about how bad it was, but we want them to talk about how good it was. It kills me when I go into a department store, Mark, and you can't find anyone to serve you. That is something that we hear often, often again, and I often, you know, I experience that too. And we'd rather have extra staff who are doing, you know, bits and pieces around the store rather than not having enough. The worst thing we would, we ever want is somebody to walk out and say that they weren't, uh, you know, they weren't served. And we, we encourage the staff, you know, when you see somebody just standing around, always greet them, always say hi. Um, you don't actually have to serve them because people don't, you can probably overdo it sometimes, but people just want you to know, we want people to know that they know that they're there in the store. 96900 693 or 13, 13 32, where do you get good service? And uh, when, when's the last time you had good old-fashioned service? 96900 693. Mark, is it viable to have those extra staff? Can you turn it into dollars? I think you can because the best thing is that the customers will reward us. They will, you know, they will enjoy the experience with us so they'll come back and hopefully they'll tell their friends about it and then they'll come into it too. So we've been going now for uh, close to three years and we continue to grow and we continue to, you know, to welcome the feedback from the customers about what they say about the service. What about finding the right staff to provide that service? Has that been difficult or, or do you still get the, the odd one who comes to work yawning and thinking about uh, knock-off time? Um, they probably don't last because... Um, it, it's the environment and the culture that we've created inside the store that everybody's actually themselves is having a good time too. And when you come into the store, you feel that vibrant energy and that definitely, um, you know, the customers feel that when they come into the store as well. So we make sure the staff are enjoying themselves and in turn, you know, they're enjoying their day at work and the customers should enjoy their shopping experience with us as well. Now, you're part owner, but you've got the, the support of the former owner of Stan Cash. Um, How has that come about? Yes. Um, well, my family have been in the electrical industry for over 30 years, yeah. and uh, so has Robert Souk, and he was the original Stan. And so we had, um, we'd, we'd had relationships through other businesses uh, that we'd been associated with, um, uh, with Retrovision, which was similar to a franchise. And we, you know, we wanted to do something new because we saw that the Retrovision model wasn't working anymore. So um, we, we thought that Stan Cash had, had resonated so well with customers, and we spoke with Robert, uh, who's been a uh, advisor now to sort of work out what was the essence and the success of the original Stan Cash because we we didn't want to do something wrong with a brand that was already loved by by so many people. We wanted to make sure that we sort of followed a similar formula. Um, do you ride to work on a horse, and have you got your chaps on at the moment? <laughs> uh, I don't, but I can tell you that we have had Stan in the store. Robert does dress up as Stan, and we have had a horse in the store. Um, we have hay bales in the store, and all the staff are wearing cowboy shirts. The, the girls have a bit of a bling uh, also on their shirts as well. So we do bring theme and a bit of fun. Uh, we've got the kids' corner as well. The kids get to wear cowboy hats and um, pink uh, cowgirl hats as well. So we do bring a bit of fun and laughter inside the shop. Congratulations to you. You've got a great point of difference there, and uh, good luck. Thank you so much. Mark Cavell, uh, part owner of Stan Cash.